in the middle of my workout. 138, okay, I'm done. Whoo, oh man. But I'm pumped, I'm ready for GMAT Tuesdays. Uh, welcome everyone to this GMAT Tuesdays. Today we're diving into another question in the official guide to the GMAT. As always, working out of the 13th edition. You may also notice there's some construction sounds going on uh, you know, I was just so stoked to make this video that I couldn't help myself and just work through the noise. And it'll be a good test for, uh, test day, because you're going to be in a room full of lots of people making lots of noise. Um, I apologize if it's distracting. Um, so we're on question 103, and question 103 says, according to the passage, which of the following describes the result of the way in which researchers generally can conduct uh, their trials? So anytime you see the phrase according to the passage, it's going to be a detailed question. And when it's going to be a detailed question, you have a strategy that you can follow. Step one, attack the passage. So dive into the passage, figure out what the main idea is, outline or understand sort of the structure and flow of the passage, and then get a sense for the author's tone and the author's purpose for writing. Um, we did this in uh, question 99 for this passage, so I'll put a link down below so you can go to that video if you want to dive deeper into the passage. Um, step two is rephrase the question, so we know it's according to the passage, and really what they want to know is what happens when you collect, um, uh, when researchers collect data the way that they do for trials. And so one important thing to notice in this question, it's not what uh, the people who wrote this article are recommending um, or hoping to change, it's how things are now. So we need to make sure we stay focused on that point. And I know that they talked about this in the first paragraph, so I'm gonna be focused there while researching the passage. So looking around in the passage to see if I can predict some answer. Um, don't spend a lot of time uh, obsessing over your prediction. Just get a sense of what you think the answer will look like or sound like or smell like. Uh, you don't have to have something perfectly phrased out. You don't want to waste a lot of time here. It's just priming your mind for a correct answer. Um, because it's going to help you to notice when things are wrong. So you're going to next eliminate wrong answers. And for detailed questions, there's some common wrong answers to look out for. First off, inferences. Anytime you see an inference where um, it's information that isn't explicitly stated in the passage, that's going to be wrong for a detailed question. Uh, answer choices that distort the information in the passage, either present information in a different light or the opposite of what is being said, um, or maybe information from a different part of the passage that doesn't relate. Um, and then finally, just new information, things that aren't covered in the passage. Okay, our answer choices. A, expand resources on storage. So in the first paragraph, they talk about how researchers will collect lots of information um, that doesn't get used. And when they collect that information, they have to store it all. And so A is the perfect answer. It's stated in the passage in the first paragraph, and that's gonna be our answer. But let's look at these other ones to see why they're wrong. Um, B says compromise accuracy. There's nothing in the passage that talks about compromising accuracy. Maybe you would infer this from reading the passage, but um, there's nothing stated directly about the accuracy of the information being collected. Um, C is a tricky one. This might catch you. Uh, they talk about avoiding risks, but uh, this is actually the opposite of what is said in the first paragraph. There's going to be risks any um, in the ways that they collect um, data now, there's no way to avoid some risk. So this is the opposite. It's done. D. Oh no! <laughs> I'm gonna keep going. Uh, overlook facts. Um, there's nothing in the passage that talks about this. Uh, there's no mention of them overlooking facts because they because of the way that they collect information. So we can eliminate D. And finally, E, uh, based on how they collect uh, information on the hospital, this is a distortion. Um, it's actually not how things are collected in the hospital. And the passage actually explicitly states that they don't follow 
the procedures that hospitals do. So we can eliminate E, and we're left with A. If you have any questions at all, please leave them in the comments below. I'd be happy to answer them. If you like these types of videos where I go through official guide questions, please let me know that as well um, so I know to continue to make these videos. Um, and finally, if you need more prep, head over to gmat.magoosh.com where there's lots of friendly, smart, intelligent people who want to help you dominate the GMAT. All right, be excellent to the universe.